Today, I'm going to share with you all how to install FSR 3.1 and frame generation in Dragon Age The Veilguard on the Steam Deck using a free to download mod, and I'll be guiding you step by step on how to achieve this as quickly as possible. From desktop mode, access your web browser and come over to the link in the description for DLSS Enablers GitHub page. We want to scroll down to releases, and inside here, we want to scroll down to DLSS Enabler Setup.exe and download to our Downloads folder. Inside our Downloads folder, we want to right click on DLSS Enabler Setup.exe and we want to add to Steam. While we're here, right click Create New Folder and we want to call this DLSS and we can bring up our Steam keyboard with Steam and X. Once that's complete, come over to Steam and access your library. In your Steam library, find DLSS Enabler Setup.exe and we want to click the COG symbol. Properties and incompatibility, we want to assign Proton Experimental and close the window. Go ahead and press play to launch the setup. Once the setup launches, you may notice that your trackpad is no longer working. Simply hold the Steam button to reactivate this and accept the agreement and press Next. Next again and we want to click Browse. Navigate to your Z drive and we want to find Home. Deck. Scroll down to Downloads and access the DLSS folder we just created and press OK. Press next. On the next screen, you will be presented with a series of choices. We want to make sure that version.dll is selected here, followed by enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs. Make sure that both of these are selected and once done, press next, followed by install. At the end of the installation, you will have a window appear for an error message we can simply go ahead and press OK. Disregard the README and press Finish. Access your DLSS folder and in here we'll have a load of files that we want to highlight and press Copy. Next, navigate to your Home folder and we want to access the three lines here and show hidden files. From here we want to access .steam, steam Scroll down to Steam Apps and access Common. Scroll down to Dragon Age The Veil Guard's main directory for installation. And in here, click an empty space and paste all 22 items from your DLSS folder. Click Apply to All, Write Into, Apply to All and Overwrite. With all of those files copied into your installation directory, we want to scroll down until we find nvngx.dll. Right click on this and delete. Afterwards, we want to find nvngx underscore dlss. Right click on this file, copy, right click again and paste. We'll be asked if we want to overwrite, but instead we want to highlight underscore dlss, press steam and x, Backspace, close the keyboard, and click Rename. Once that's done, go back to Steam and find Dragon Age The Veil Guard. Click the cog symbol and Properties, and for our launch options, we need to make sure the following command is typed exactly as shown, which is wine dll overrides equals quotation mark version equals n comma B, quotation mark, space, percentage sign, command in capitals, percentage sign. Once that command has been pasted exactly as shown, go back to gaming mode. Now once we're in game, we'll notice that our FPS hasn't changed just yet. So we want to access our settings and go down to our upscaler. Instead of FSR, we can now select DLSS. Go down to frame generation and toggle this on. 
you'll see NVIDIA Reflex has also been activated and I'm confident that between on and on boost there is no difference. We can see that our FPS has jumped up to about 50 FPS, sometimes 60, and it does depend on the area you're in on this game because it is quite variable depending on location. And if you're on ROG Alloy or Lenovo Legion Go with the Z1 Extreme chip, then you're going to notice much bigger gains. If you made it to the end of my video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this guide, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, and share this video with others. You all have a wonderful day, look out for one another, and I'll see you later.